welcome to this week's best assembly. Just like learning at home is a bit more challenging than classroom, this week's walk is certainly more challenging with rivers and a snowstorm. Let's find out who's exceeded with their learning this week and who our best learners are. Hi everyone. This week in year one, Mr. Stevenson has chosen Jasmine Jit for 1S. He's seen a huge improvement in her confidence over the last week. She's now talking more and using her loud voice when answering questions on the carpet. And she's also working more independently and has produced some excellent maths work. So keep up the hard work, Jasmine Jit. You are amazing. In 1DR this week, Mrs. De Jong and Mrs. Rourke have chosen Darian for best learner. They've said that he's working super hard in every lesson and also heard that he's working hard in his Reader at Ink group with Miss Fitzpatrick. He's been reading lots at home and making sure to use his Fred fingers to help him with his writing. Well done, Darian. In 1F this week, Miss Fitzpatrick has chosen Ibrahim for best learner. He's always shown good manners towards children and the teachers and he's always ready to learn and loves to challenge himself. Miss Fitzpatrick's also noticed that Ibrahim loves to help other children in the class when they find something difficult. This shows how kind and caring Ibrahim is. Well done everyone, you are all amazing. In year three this week, we've picked some amazing writers for our best learners. In 3F, I've picked Iris. Now I could pick Iris every single week. She is a superstar in all lessons, but I'm so impressed with her writing that she's completed this week. We've been writing a letter based on the story we've been learning about called Pugs of the Frozen North. And the vocabulary and similes that she used really blew me away. It was ama an amazing piece of writing and I really enjoyed reading it. So well done, Iris, keep up the great work. In 3G, Miss Gore has really been impressed with Aisha in her work. She has really been carefully picking vocabulary to make her writing more interesting to the reader. She's been doing some fantastic editing. Miss Gore was really impressed because Aisha was actually poorly and missed one of the planning lessons, but she still managed to come in and blow her away with her writing. So well done, Aisha. Keep up the great work. Mr. Kula has picked Daniela in 3K. He has also been really impressed with her writing this week. He's been especially impressed with her use of questions and conjunctions in her writing. So well done, Daniela. Keep up the great work. In nursery, this week's best certificate goes to Alex. Alex has really been keeping his hands busy in nursery, improving his manipulative skills to help him with his writing. He's been drawing, making a lion out of the Play-Doh, cutting and sticking to make a lion puppet, playing with the animals around the world and enjoying being creative on the cardboard box. We're really proud of Alex and the way he listens at group time and always joins in. Well done, Alex. Keep up the hard work. For best this week, I have chosen Kai Rant. Kai Rat has been working really hard recently and shows such a good attitude towards her learning that even when she finds things a little bit tricky, she just keeps going and going. And one really important thing to do when you are finding things hard is asking for help. And Kai Rat has become so confident when putting her hand up, asking for some help, finding out what she can do to help herself from the stuck station. And it's just really impressive to see how determined she is. So well done, Kai Rat. This week in 5B, Best Learner has been awarded to McCaden. He has been working really hard. 
with his writing in English. He has used uh, lots of new and exciting vocabulary from the text we have been uh, reading. He has really got into the role of the character and, and has remembered to include all the appropriate punctuation. McCaden has also been reading at home and has remembered to sign his reading record. Hey, superstar McCaden. Well done, McCaden. Um, so our best learner for 5C this week is Nicholas. Um, Nicholas is just a lovely boy. He works really hard in every single lesson that we do. Um, he gets on with things with no fuss. He's got his hand up all the time to offer answers. He's just, he's polite. He's kind to the other children. Um, I've had the dinner lady come to me twice to say how amazing and lovely and kind he is at playtime this week. So, um, Nicholas, you have best learner this week. Everything you do in school at the moment is perfect. I couldn't ask for anything more from you. So massive well done to you, Nicholas. This week in 5B, we have chosen Melina for best respect because she has shown good manners to everyone around her and keeps a positive attitude. She is also kind and caring to everyone. <coughs> We've chosen Layla for best respect this week. Layla is a great role model. She's kind and makes sure everyone joins at playtime. She always takes part in learning and helps everyone in the classroom. <laughs> in 5H this week, we have chosen this person because they are kind and can always help people. In 5H this week, we have chosen... some lovely pictures of paper towers made as part of the weekly challenge and this week my winner is Georgie. Well done to everybody from entering and it'd be great if even more people could enter the challenge next week. <laughs>